Hello everyone, I'm Stefan Chandler-Garcia, a Senior Developer Evangelist here at Salesforce. Today we're going to cover Salesforce integration best practices and see a demo of the Salesforce Platform Integration Solutions in action. Now, Salesforce really enables integration across any business need, whether you're looking to unlock data across your core systems of record, standardize and transform data for complex processing, or surface personalized views of data and information directly inside of Salesforce. Now, there are really six products that make up our integration portfolio. To kick it off is MuleSoft, which is the world's leading integration platform, and it really enables our customers connect any data source, app, or device. The other five products are known as the Salesforce Platform Integration Solutions, and they enable customers to connect data, events, and APIs to their Salesforce applications. For the rest of this presentation, we're going to really focus on those five products. Now, those five products are Salesforce Connect, which allows you to view, search, and modify data that's stored on an external platform within Salesforce. Heroku Connect, which gives you a bi-directional sync between Salesforce and Heroku Postgres. Platform Events and Change Data Capture, which is our native PubSub capability for real-time integration. The many Salesforce APIs for interacting with Salesforce data, like the REST API and the SOAP API. And external services that give declarative builders the power to call APIs from tools like Flow and Process Builder. With these, Salesforce is able to offer our customers the best solution for every integration use case. You can use these products individually or alongside each other, depending on your integration needs. In this demo, we're going to see how these five products work in conjunction with each other to provide a connected customer experience and deliver a 360 view of your business. We're going to use Salesforce Connect to bring in some data from AWS for us to use within the Salesforce UI. We're using platform events to send data to our Heroku app so that our customers can know our flash sale is ready. We're going to use the composite API as part of the REST API to deliver some data back to Salesforce. We're going to use change data capture to update the UI in real time. And lastly, we're going to use external services in Flow to send a WhatsApp message via the Twilio API. So Pure Allo is a fictitious agriculture, manufacturing, and retail company. This app has been downloaded from the Trailhead Sample Gallery for us to use as part of this demo. Pure Allo manages Allo harvests and sells derived Allo products through a distributor channel. In this demo, we're using the Salesforce platform integration solutions to simplify complex process and integrate external systems within Salesforce. So here we are within the Pure Allo app in Salesforce. We're looking at a merchandise bundle record that is used to distribute flash sales to our customers. On the right hand side, we have our Pure Allo Heroku app. This is where customers will receive the flash sales, place orders and view their order status. Inside of our bundle, we have a merchandise list. While this data looks like it's in Salesforce, it's actually being brought over from a DynamoDB instance on AWS. We have used Salesforce Connect to create an external object that can be interacted with directly in our app. So let's go ahead and build our special TDX 2020 bundle with a few products. Let's go ahead and submit this order to our customers. As you can see, the Heroku app was automatically updated to contain the flash sale. This was done using platform events. We were able to subscribe to the message within the app so that it updates immediately. So let's take a look at how we fired that. In Process Builder, we can see that when the bundle is submitted, we fire an action. That action is a platform event. This is received by the Heroku app and it updates itself. Back in the Heroku app, a customer can place an order for the bundle. When they click on Submit, the order is received directly by Salesforce. If we take a look at the code behind the app, we can see that we're using the Composite API to write back into Salesforce. The Composite API is perfect for this scenario because we need to chain the relationships between the records. You can see here that we're referencing the parent objects as the callout is made and this will allow us to create that data in Salesforce. You might have also noticed that our path was automatically updated. This was completed using change data capture. Here in setup, you can see that the bundle has been selected for CDC. This means that every time a change happens, it publishes an event. Now looking at our Lightning Web component, we can see that the CDC event can be subscribed to using the EMP API. The EMP API allows you to subscribe to a channel within platform events. Now in the connected callback, 
we can initiate the subscription and process the event when it's received, allowing us to then update that path and the data that you're seeing within the UI. When the order is shipped, the customer receives a WhatsApp message. It looks like Sally will be receiving her order on Saturday. This was done using an external service that we called in a flow. An external service allows us to expose a callout to some of the declarative tools on platform. Looking at our Apex class, we can see that we have defined an invocable method. This is what enables the callout in Process Builder and Flow. Here we're using named credentials to call out to the Twilio API to send our message. This will allow us to ensure that the credentials are stored within Salesforce and not available in plain text inside of our Apex class. And there you've now seen how you can use Salesforce Connect to utilize third-party data within Salesforce. We've used platform events to integrate with our Heroku app. We've used the composite API to create our orders in Salesforce, and we've updated that merchandise bundle using CDC. And we've shipped and let the customer know the status of their order using external services. You can learn more about this by following along with these Trailhead modules covering all five services we've discussed today. Thank you for attending this session. Hope you enjoy the rest of Trailhead DX.